This year reflects the evolution of our collaboration to include not only a baseline performance screen in collaboration with our colleagues from strength and conditioning, including Mike Arthur and Lauren, but also a biomechanical screen to help protect our athletes from injury. Today's efforts truly blend the art and the science of sports to enhance the performance, the safety, and the long-term well-being of our soccer players. Soccer has a high incidence, especially in women's soccer, of ACLs. In fact, it's around uh, 10 to 1 compared to men. So um, it's one of those things that we're trying to find if there's an imbalance, if, the, if something with the, the strength and the power that we can help them with, if, if nothing else, just to balance them out so that it's less likely to happen. As part of the baseline performance screen, the women's soccer team players are going through four key assessments. Uh, first one is the vertical jump. Not only are we able to document what that height is, but we're also able to quantify the forces that they're generating as they jump. And this helps us understand the explosiveness and their response to training with the coaches. Well, we have a very close co collaboration with all the strength coaches, so they're up here as well. Um, so we can actually record the specific movement, their mo movement patterns of the legs, and then we can pass that information on to the coaches and they can implement um, training in their programs to prevent injuries. The next test that uh, we'll be doing with the athletes is the pro agility. Basically their mission is to rapidly uh, switch directions back and forth as they traverse the field. Uh, they'll be doing that out on our turf, which is a good simulation of what they're using in the real environment when they're playing soccer. Um, it looks at not only their speed, but also their capacity to change directions rapidly. It's not unidirectional, and this is very much what, similar to what they do on the soccer field. Our 10-yard dash really measures the time it takes to cover the distance. However, by adding our cameras to this, as well as our force plates, we're also able to understand the athlete's ability to explosively uh, produce that movement as they run down the field. Just using the camera system that we have in the lab, we are able to see the movement pattern of the knee as they're performing a specific sports-related task, like jumping, landing, and changing directions and really screen for the movement pattern that can lead to a potential risk of injury. And by screening then, we are able to work with them in collaboration with the strength and conditioning coaches to target and tackle those athletes that need that help. And the final activity is a triple hop. We'll be doing that on a specially instrumented mat that we have, and this mat allows us to measure not only the distance they're going with each of the hops, but also look at the force profile that they're generating. This is really helpful as we think about each uh, player's strength and their power production capabilities as they're moving down the mat. We anticipate this will have really important ramifications as we think about players for positions on the soccer field.